Well, now that it's quiet again on the waterfront, the planners of the Thunder on the Buffalo Waterfront Air Show are reviewing how things went with a COVID force quick change of venue from the air base and the fog which abbreviated the show yesterday. Channel 2's Ron Plans has the views of organizers and those who attended the air show with a look ahead to the future. We had a little hiccup with the weather yesterday and so had to make some last minute changes, but overall, for the first time ever doing it down here, we're going to call it a huge success. From this air show director who had to first shift gears after the federal government decided the Niagara Falls Air Base show couldn't happen with COVID, shifting in 60 days to the waterfront locale and then a fog problem for Saturday's show. We were all crushed. Most of us didn't sleep last night. Um, people were pretty upset. And yeah, so being able to get as many people down here to see what they saw, we'll take what we can get. They got 11,000 attendees over the two days. Again, some returning today specifically for the Blue Angels, who got fogged out for their high-speed tight maneuvers. And while traffic seemed jammed at times on the Skyway and at the waterfront, a thumbs up from those attending. It's the best they could do, really. I mean, they tried to put on something. You can't control the weather. Um, we really don't want pilots that are doing the maneuvers they're going to do in, in a situation where it's not safe for them. But what about the lakefront setting instead of the air base? Some mixed reviews. Who doesn't like the sun in the water? <laughs> and then you put the jets in with it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's a lot different. I'm used to having it at the air base. You can walk through all the other aircrafts, get pictures with pilots, pictures with other aircrafts. Also no food trucks with the state in COVID, but you can in essence tailgate. I understand that it is really cool to be interactive with the static display aircraft we have up there in the ground displays, and there's no denying that. Um, it's a different kind of show, so out here in the water, the backdrop is, un is unbelievable. Kennedy also points out that many other Great Lake cities, from Cleveland to Chicago to Toronto, do waterfront air shows, and with deployments or other circumstances, the airbase can't always host it. So for the future? The last three air shows were held in 2011, 2015, and 2018. Why not sprinkle in a couple down the outer harbor in between those years when we're not doing it at the base? Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. And we want to hear from you. Where do you think the air show should return next year? Do you want it back at the Niagara Falls Air Base or should it be or stay in downtown Buffalo? Right now, most of you are saying the Niagara Falls Air Base, 52%, 48% for the Buffalo waterfront.